Welcome to another Fast Tip video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to deal with missing or broken references in your Access databases. Have you ever gone to start up your database or you got a database file from a colleague or a friend of yours and this happens? Boom. It says your database name, Tech Help Free Template in my case, or project contains a missing or broken reference to the file, whatever. It says to ensure your database or project works properly, you must fix this reference. Well, what is a reference? What is this file? And how do I get rid of this error message? Well, I'll hit OK, and the database loads up, but you'll notice right away some stuff doesn't work that should normally work. This is just a simple date field, for example, and it's not working. So what are references? Well, if you got this database from someone else, chances are they used a third-party reference or a reference to a different file that's not normally part of Access. It could be something simple like an Acrobat reader to view PDF files or an Outlook plugin to view and send emails. So how do you find these different references? Well, go into Design View, okay? Go to Form Design, and in the Tools section, find this little guy here. It says View Code. That'll bring up the VB Editor, this guy. Now, right up top here on the Tools menu, you'll see References. Now, this is a long list of all kinds of different stuff that you can plug into Access. Okay, there's Outlook stuff, there's SharePoint stuff, you name it. There's a, a, tons of stuff in here. And what is in here is completely dependent upon what is installed on your system. You may have some of this stuff, you may have none of this stuff. Well, you should have some of this stuff. Some of the things are installed by default with Access. Visual Basic for Applications, Microsoft Access 6.0 Object Library that comes with this version of Access. Yours might be different. But as you can see right here, I'm missing something to HyperSnap 8. Now, HyperSnap is a screen capture utility that I have in my system, and I intentionally broke this reference by renaming that file something else so that Access would cause this error message. Now, this usually happens because someone else, whoever gave you this file, uh, installed this component in their Access database to use it, but you don't have that file. Okay, you might not have HyperSnap 8 installed. You might not have Acrobat Reader installed, whatever. Or you might have it installed, but you might have a different version. You might have an older version of Access or an older version of Excel or whatever the plugin is for. This is one of the reasons why I really, 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 really hate third-party references. I try to tell people whenever possible, use features that are built into Access. Don't use third-party plugins because you can't guarantee that everyone else is going to have the same files and in the same locations. Okay, you might have installed HyperSnap to a different folder, for example. Okay, now the good news is all you really have to do is uncheck that box, hit OK, and then restart your database. So I'll shut it down and then open it back up again. Yeah, I named it Missing References. Open it back up. The error message goes away, and now look, that date field is working again. Missing references can cause any number of weird problems in your database. Okay, but I got rid of that error message by simply removing the reference file. Okay, and now the database opens. Now, any features that are dependent upon that reference file aren't going to work. So if I have some kind of a HyperSnap plugin in a form somewhere in my database, that's not going to work. But at least the rest of the database will open and you can use it, open the forms and reports and all the normal access stuff. Okay, but that's how you get rid of that error message. As far as getting that HyperSnap thing working again, well, all I have to do is go and rename that file that I just changed. But if you don't have whatever application that person had installed in Access to begin with, it's just not going to work. You have to talk to them. Get the same software installed or find out whatever they did that you have to do to your computer to make that reference work. But that's how you can get rid of the error message. That's how you can get into the database. And that's it. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.